Hi guys, it's time for another Quick Tip Tuesday and this one, as you've probably gathered, is all about St. Patrick's Day Gold. So I wanted to give you a couple of different ideas because I know a lot of STEM challenges for St. Patrick's Day have something to do with a pot of gold and it can get a little bit pricey if you're looking for like these little coins because they come in rather small bags for a dollar. So that might work for you, but for me, actually it's a little bit too pricey. So I wanted to give you some other options. So first of all, my favorite is usually um, actually just candy because I know I will eat that candy later. So I wanted to show you a couple of different um, options for this. So you can see I've got the little coins in there, but another thing that works really well um, is anything Hershey's almond, so their nuggets or their kisses, unless you have kids, of course, who have nut allergies. Um, but another thing that actually works really well is Rolos. Now, they're not exactly gold, they're sort of a coppery color, but you could see the, um, in the bowl there that it still works really well. Um, and depending on what you're doing with your pots of gold, sometimes I will take Rolos and call them sort of like fool's gold, and those can be like points against you, or you can use them for like integers. A couple other things that you might want to think about are little puff, little pom-poms, and um, you might have base 10 blocks that are yellow, and I think that works. Any little bows that you might have, anything yellow, balloons, um, these little Easter eggs, which actually are nice. If you have these around, you can use them for a nice nest, um, another spring stem challenge beads and you can do the same thing you can either pick out all the yellow ones or have that be part of the stem challenge for the kids to pick out the gold um, or you can treat the other colors as negative points or integers and then the last idea for you is a super super cheap one and it is popcorn kernels so you can leave them unpopped because they have a nice goldish color um, or you can even pop them and that's probably i think of all of the different ideas that's the cheapest one um, to serve as your gold and as soon as I jump off of here, I will link you to a blog post that goes to five St. Patrick's Day STEM challenges, um, three of them. I think, well, two definitely use gold and then um, a couple other ones use some different stuff. So it gives you some options. If you guys have any questions or you have some suggestions for what you have used for gold in the past, please share that in the comments. I hope you're having a fabulous week and staying healthy. Bye for now.